office and a sleepable device that features an all-aluminum case that will plug right into your home theater or anywhere you have a TV set. The box office is fairly small, measuring in at 5.7 inches length, 5.5 inches width, and 1.5 inches height. Moving to the back of the box office, you'll find an analog composite DVD output, a digital optical output, an HDMI output capable of 1080p, mini and standard USB connectors, a 1200 people Ethernet jack and a power connector. Under the box office, you'll find a single USB connector, an IR input for the remote, and USB hard drive, network, and power status LEDs to inform you the status of the box office. Although the box office only features Ethernet connectivity out of the box, a wireless adapter is no different to you. The adapter is compatible with 802 D and G standards and occupies one of the box office's USB ports. One of the unique features of the box office is the ability to house a standard 2.5-inch SATA, solid-state, or hard drive to store your media files, in case you don't want to stream files from the PC. Once the drive is inside the box office, you can start using it to store digital media after the mandatory format procedure. To put media on the internal hard drive inside the box office, you can use a supplied mini to standard USB cable to access the drive with a standard external hard drive, or you can use the transfer media server software to transfer files over your home network. The box office has a very easy to use UI that allows you to copy files, browse your media, and access your basic set of options. The file copy feature lets you copy files to and from various sources, including USB storage devices, network file shares, universal plug and play shares, and from the internal hard drive. It's very easy to use and simply requires you to select the files you want to copy from the source and select the location you want to copy to. The file copy feature does support batch file copying of audio, video, and image files for quick and easy file transfers. The settings menu of the box office is fairly straightforward. You can change the important settings such as HDMI and optical split of audio output formats for RAW, Bitstream, or PCM. Your video resolution settings up to 1080p with the support for 1080p 24Hz output. And your basic network settings for the onboard ether or the optional ones. The box office file browser is very easy to navigate and provides instant access to all your media files stored on the internal hard drive, external USB storage device, or files shared on your home network. The box office has excellent file format capability and will play virtually all your video files, including 1080p Petroska, Flash Video, and DVD isolated. The file browser will also let you preview your video files before you actually watch it in full screen. As you can see by our demonstration of an episode of Planet Earth with full of blue papers, the box office is fully capable of playing a 1080p Petroska file with stunning quality of details. Subfiles of various languages are also supported with the box office. Next up for file compatibility is a direct grip of the second feature of the The box office has no trouble playing the video DS folder with the original DVD menu. It will also play DVD ISO images. Unfortunately, the box office does not play Blu-ray or HD ISO images. Lastly, XLIT and DivX files are also supported and scalable up to 10 e Here's a quick clip of the intro from an admin to show them the playback of XLIT files. Box Office will access your shared files and folders if you use the built-in folder sharing capabilities within the Windows operating system. To manage all your media and share it using a universal plug and and compatible application such as Windows Media Play, Box Office can also access those shares as well. And that concludes this episode of the Patreon Memory.